just in front of the Deutsches Museum in Munich, uh, Germany, and we want to see what what are the exhibitions in there, uh, especially or particularly the <laughs> physics department, maybe cosmology or astronomy. We'll see what happens inside. So let's go. zero level, the, the first one, we are going to see what happens here in power machinery. see the steam turbines, how steam turbines have higher power output than steam engines and they take up less space and they are lighter. Um, the entire plant is uh, less expensive. And now we come to triple expansion marine steam engine from 1883. Let's see this impressive machine, power machine. So we are now actually in front of the twin compound steam engine from 1899, from the end of the 19th century. But this uh, machine was actually, uh, this engine was used for almost 60 years. And it looks really impressive. It was used till uh, 1958. Uh, this one is from Karlsruhe. Uh, you can see its system from here. So as I said, this is a um, uh, twin compound steam engine. And it's no surprise that it was used for almost 60 years. Welcome to electrical power. In order to understand how does it work and <laughs> what are the benefits, etc., Let's see what are the main ingredients in order to have the electrical power. This lighting you see comes from experiments that are presented here, but you'll see them a little bit later. Okay, let's go inside.
we are about to enter the physics part. You can see these beautiful exponents here that we can see that like welcome us into the physics part. Let's explore for the beginning of this short part what we have here. So we start with Max Joseph I, who actually became the king of Bavaria in 1806. And it, it, he was the member of Bavarian Academy of Sciences. So let's see what we hear, what we have here. Maybe you would think that this is the telescope, but actually uh, it has the specific name. It's Bellumeter, an astronomical telescope that was used originally to measure the surface area of the sun. And that's why uh, it's called a heliometer, because it was used for the sun, for measuring the surface area of the sun. When I first saw this <laughs> this guy here, I, I actually thought he was the real guy and not the replica of a man, <laughs> of a scientist doing some reading from instruments. This is actually part of the museum's history, but museum's history related to physics. And there is something related to optics, some spectrum. Let's see what it is. Wow, this looks so, so cool. So, um, <laughs> this is actually part uh, dedicated to diffraction, uh, uh, specifically von, von Fraunhofer, because we have uh, Fresnel and Fraunhofer's diffraction, two types of diffraction. And uh, actually, we can see different prismas, different uh, shapes and colors, and what actually happens here. So we have uh, Fraunhofer's prismas that mark the beginning of a new era in the history of optics. In this part, we have some instruments dedicated to what was the work of Georg Friedrich Brande. Uh, he was founding member of Bavarian Academy of Sciences and also leading producer of scientific instruments in the German-speaking world of the 18th century. So, after this historical introduction for the physics part, let's see what actually we have in physics section. Donc, physique. Willkommen.
another interesting point here is the ballistic pendulum. So this is like a first primitive ballistic pendulum that was used. Um, and ballistic pendulum is actually used uh, to determine the initial velocity of an object. Uh, and we can see here that you put an object, for example, here, at this point, where it has initial potential energy, and by moving uh, toward this inclined plane, it goes here, and it develops or it transforms this potential energy to the kinetic energy that it transforms in, in some uh, percentage here to this ballistic pendulum and it will by gaining that um, certain amount of energy it will go to the certain uh, height and we can see uh, which will be the angle uh, here and by knowing the angle we can determine the initial velocity that was the velocity by which this object hit this uh, physical pendulum uh, at this point.
I really enjoyed the physics department, all the experiments available to all the visitors uh, to just try and see what happens and um, try to uh, uh, take the conclusions by yourself, etc. And here um, we are at the top of Deutsches Museum building. Um, Unfortunately, we weren't able to visit the planetarium, cosmology department, the astronomy department because uh, they are uh, remodeling it and uh, preparing some new exhibitions available in July. But overall, I really love this museum and I highly recommend to visit um, if you haven't seen it before. If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Bye!